just another, just another bad in that family. It's your wicked daddy fat. One half of the mighty. <laughs> About 13 miles from downtown Atlanta. Welcome to Truist Park. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Cincinnati Reds going up against the Atlanta Braves. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Okay, all set to go. Here's the second baseman, Jonathan India. And a 3-1 on the way. Towards first. And he takes it himself for the out. Tyler Naquin to the plate. No score just getting started, top of the first. Lifted in the air, out to left. And there's two away. Here's Tommy Pham. Third, the left fielder, Tommy Pham. The 2 1. Tied him up inside with that one. And now it's three and two. To see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And that's the third out. We go to the bottom of the first, and here's the veteran outfielder, Eddie Rosario. So now one and two. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the first out. Here that is Matt good. Olson. The first this guy has turned into Matt. a beast. Oh, Next good. offering is in for a strike. The one, two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's the Austin Riley. Austin. And a pitch. Riley. And that one hammered. Goal! Here's Marcelo Zuna. And a pitch. And he pumps it a strike. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. Pitch misses inside, and a count 2-1. and one. Line drive. Fraley makes the catch, and that'll do it. Top of the second, and ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Joey Votto. The next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. The why to kick the pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Tyler Stevenson now at the plate. Tyler Stevenson. And now two and one. Next pitch is outside. Votto gets his lead at first with nobody out. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. First and second. No outs. Now it's Nick Senzel. Got him! Now one away. 
two on one out. Colin Moran, the next to hit for the Reds. Colin the one one. That's off the mark, and it's two and one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. That one pushed to the left and foul. And the right hander deals. In the dirt, but kept close. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Three, two. In the air, left side. And it one hops the wall. On a second, but he's in there. Safe. And a run comes in to score. Kyle Farmer up to the plate now. Right hander kicks deals. That one ripped left field. And it's gone. Home run. In now for the Reds, Jake Fraley. The 1 1. And that's down it away. Still only one out here in the inning. The next offering misses. And the count is three and one. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. And he walked him. Jonathan India at the plate. Grounded out his first time. Jonathan India. Ball to strike. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Fraley at first, one gone. Anderson over to first. Fraley back in on a dive. The pitch. Squirts away a little bit. To second, pulls him off the bag. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Runner leads away at second. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. One down. Now it's the Reds' DH. Tyler Naquin. The pitch. And it is two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. And that one almost got him. Ripped to third and caught. Throw not in time at second to double him off. Great hustle to get back. Next for Cincinnati, Tommy Pham. The left fielder, Tommy Pham. Two outs. And a count one and two. Got him looking. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back at Truist Park, and now Adam Duvall. Kicks and fires. That one fouled off. 2 2. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Now it's Alex Dickerson. The left fielder. Alex Dickerson. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. In the air, right field. Fraley in position. And he makes the catch. Out number two. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Batting it. And now it's the Travis Darno with the play. Travis. He's got pop, Darno. which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Dansby Swanson is going to get a chance Batting to hit. 
Not shortstop. Gansby. And he deals. Swanson. Laser. Base hit. Around third. Throw is wide. He's off the bag. Run scores, and this inning continues. Here's Eddie Rosario. Number eight. Eddie Rosario. Tying run at the plate. Out towards center. Senzel has this one sized up. Up against the wall. And makes the catch. Back here in Atlanta. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Tyler Stevenson. The walk and a run scored his first time. And the righty deals. Ground ball left side. Votto gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Rolled to short. Possible two ball. Over to Albies. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. In now for the Reds, the Nick Senzel. Nick Senzel. In the air, right side. Rosario settles under this one and puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Man at first, Colin Moran, the, the next to hit for the Reds. 16. Colin Moran. Left hand batter waits. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first. And that'll do it. Bottom of the inning. Here's Matt Olson. Left hand hitter waits. Not even close there. And a count two and one. Next pitch is downstairs. Three balls, one strike. Three. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. And that one is lifted in the air. Fraley moving under it. And there's one down. Down the third baseman, now Austin it. Riley. He's already homered here in this one. Two and one now. Rip to short. Roll over to Votto. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Two outs, base is empty. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Marcelo Zuna. Up and in, and he gets out of the way. Bounce to third. Roll over to Votto. That ends the inning. Welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's the shortstop, Kyle Farmer. That one misses, and that's ball two. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. And there's a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Next for Cincinnati, Jake Fraley. Now batting the right fielder. Jake and a pitch. Fraley. Right through there for a strike. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And off the base of the wall. 
Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. So back to the top of the Reds lineup. Jonathan India, the next to hit. Here comes a pitch. And there's a ball. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Next pitch downstairs. Three balls and a strike. And now a full count. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Next pitch has popped up. Calls it in, and there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good yeah, timing yeah. on it. Just got yeah, underneath yeah. it a little bit and popped it up. Righty delivers. And now it's even up. Next pitch way upstairs. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And that'll load the bases. He knew he had a little wiggle room with the open base, but now that disappears. Mistake to this next batter, and this inning might really break open. New pitcher for the Braves, Sean Newcomb. And he's being asked to clean up a mess with the bases loaded. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. So base is loaded with one away. Tommy Pham will hit next. And Newcomb fires. In the dirt, blocked. But no advance from the runners. On the ground to the left. Down the line, and it's foul. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next pitch has popped up. So now here's the Reds' cleanup hitter, Joey Votto. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Love how the guy out there in the mound did not panic after loading the bases, went right to work, got two quick outs, and he's got to bear it out just to get one more and get out of this inning. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. Bottom four, here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. And the pitch. And one and two. One ball, two straight. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And it hits the top of the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Adam Duvall at the plate. Now batting the center fielder, Adam Duvall. The 1-1. One, one. Called strike right there. The punch out there. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. The and there's one away. 25. Here's Dickerson Allen. now. Runner at second here, one gone. The 1-1 is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. And a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Now in for the Braves, Travis Darno. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. And here it comes. In the air, left field. 
coming on is fam to make the play. And that is the inning. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Out to short. Swanson fires over to first. One away here in the fifth. Nick Senzel getting ready to hit. Nick Senzel. One down, base is empty. Left field. Dickerson settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that. Two down. Colin Moran, the for next to hit for the Reds. One for two. Colin Moran. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. Fought off foul. Next offering down in the dirt. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Pitch misses. Three and two down. And down on strikes he goes. And the Reds go one, two, three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Dansby Swanson stands in. Swanson, former first round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. Got him looking. And one out now. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Now it's the right fielder, Eddie Rosario. The wind of the pitch. And it's fouled away. Down the right field line. That's a base hit. Man at first with one gone. And next for Atlanta, Matt Olson. The first baseman, Matt Olson. On the ground right side, four. Has some trouble with it. Feed to second, that's one. Well, that was clearly a double play ball, but the bobble unfortunately prevented him from being able to get two. But a good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. At the belt and fire. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Three, two, two out. Runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And the right hander deals. In the air, center field. Senzel under it. Brings it in for the third out. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The now, new pitcher, Spencer Strider. Number and he'll do his best five. to keep this close. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about Ryder. middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And welcome back. And now the shortstop, Kyle Farmer. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. The pitch. To the left side, but it is well foul. Good wood on that changeup, barreled it up, just couldn't keep it between the lines. Next offering misses, and the count's full. Three two now. Stays alive.
And there's ball four. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow but he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now I couldn't have done it. Swings and misses and the count one and two. Next pitch is outside. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Right hander kicks deals. And now it's filled up. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. And that one fouled off. Runner at first with no outs here. Got him. And one gone. Jonathan India at the plate. Second baseman. Jonathan India. 3 1 now. It spills out of his glove. First and second, one out. Tyler Naquin to the plate. The two Tyler. on, one out. Falling behind, two and one. On the ground, right side. Reaches on the backhand, but it's through. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. How about it? Here's Tommy Pham. Tommy Pham. Line drive, Adam in center field. In comes the run from third. It's 5-2. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. The pitch. In the air, left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. India coming home. He scores. It's 6-2. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. Now batting. Catcher. Tyler. And the pitch. Up the middle. They get the force. They limit the damage here. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Marcelo Zuna. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. The wind and the pitch. Stays alive. Here's a one-two. Now a pop-up on the infield. Votto settles under it. Makes the catch up against the wall. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. The second baseman, Ozzy Albi. Out towards left center. Fan under it. And there's two away. Adam Duvall at the plate. The center field, number 14, Adam Duvall. And a ball in two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Back at Truist Park. Top of inning number seven. Now it's Nick Senzel. The 1-1. Out to short. Swanson handles the chance. Throws across the diamond. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now it's going to be Colin Moran. Colin Moran. He swings and fouls one off. Here comes a 3 2. That one ripped. Makes a nice running catch. And yeah, there's two away. Kyle Farmer up to the plate now. Now batting. Shortstop. Kyle Farmer. Oh. 
That's to third. Riley handles. Riley fires the first. Out number three. Tony Santiago into the game, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Tony Santiago. Back here at the ballpark, now the left fielder, Alex Dickerson. The 1 1 is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. And he deals. Swings and misses. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Up next and now it's game. Travis Darno at the play. Travis Darno. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. On the ground right side. India gloves it. Whips it to first. Two up, two down. Dansby Swanson stands in. Now batting. Shortstop. Dansby. Three and two now. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Makes the catch in and go. At the bullpen is Will Smith. Now pitching for the play. Number 51. Will Smith. We go to the eighth, leading off Jake Fraley. And now the lefty. That misses, and it's two and one. Swings here and blasts one left field back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now it's the second baseman, Jonathan India. Second baseman, Jonathan India. Line drive. Duvall pulls it down, and there's two down. Tyler Naquin, the next to now hit for the Reds. The designated hitter, Tyler. Strike two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here in Atlanta, and now the right fielder, Eddie Rosario. The pitch. Slow roller to first. Votto takes it himself. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now Matt, and now Matt Olson up to hit. Matt Olson. The count two and one. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. Votto takes it to the bag. And a couple of quick outs. Now Here's Adam, Austin Riley. The third baseman. Austin. Right-handed reliever. Nope. 
Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Farmer makes the catch, and that'll do it. All set for the start of the inning and ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Tommy Pham. The 2 1. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch in the dirt. Full count, three and two. Next pitch is popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. And the batter now is now Joey Votto. The first baseman, Joey Votto. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Two outs, base is empty. Tyler Stevenson, Tyler the next to hit for the Reds. Stevenson. And the next pitch is way outside. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Nick Senzel, the next to hit now for the Reds. The center fielder, Nick Senzel. The lefty ready and a 1 1. In the dirt. Now throw to first, but back easily. Runner holds. Count goes to 2 and 1. Next offering is down low. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. No, he held back. That's ball now four. Back. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. Oh, that keeps this inning alive, boy. puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. This to third. Throw on to Olsen. And that is that. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Ryan Hendricks. And Number he'll work on holding this lead. Ryan Hendrick. Welcome back. Bottom nine. And now the DH, Marcelo Zuna. And a ball evens the count. and miss struck him out and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth okay. here is Ozzy Albies up there Ozzy Albies left hand batter waits and that one off the outside edge talk about the right guy at the right spot they really need a rally and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base 2-1 pitch is in there and the count is even Righty delivers. Not close with that one. Counts full three and two. Next pitch is popped up. 
And Albies is retired. Two down. Well, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. Instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Just one out away. Try to close it out. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. And your final, 6-2. to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.